Good morning. It is Thursday morning and it's about nine o'clock and I wanted to have circle time at home since we can't have circle time at school. So what we'll do is we'll start just like we do at school with our bell. Are you ready? All right. So first we're gonna do our weather report. You guys can all be the weather people today because everybody's at home. So I want you to get up and take a look out the window and tell me what kind of day we're gonna have. I'll give you just a few minutes to do that while I look out the window also. Well, what did you see? I saw clouds in the sky. I saw a little bit of blue peeking out here and there, but there's definitely clouds and it looks like it might rain. So we might be able to go outside today and play, but we're definitely gonna have to be careful that if it starts raining, we go inside. Should be nice and cool. You probably won't need a jacket, but you might need a light little hoodie or a sweater. So definitely try to spend some time outside today, okay? So let's do our calendar next, just like we do at school. And the month is March. We've had two months already go by this year. This is the third month in 2020. Hold up your fingers for three. Let's count those together. One, two, three. It is the third month, it is called March. Our first month was January. Our second month was February. February, we wanna make sure we pronounce that right. And now it is March and that is our third month. So here is our March calendar. I brought it from the classroom so we could all share it at home. And we will count the days on the March calendar. Let's do it over this way, there we go. So get your county finger out, get your pointy finger. Ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and 31. There are 31 days in March and today is March 19th. It is the 19th day of March. Good job guys. I also have one of our favorite books and you guys help me read this while, we, while I read it because you know the words. This is one of our favorites. Monsters mind your manners. Are you minding your manners at home? I hope so. All right, so let's do our book routine. Ready? This is the, that's right, the cover. And this is the, the back, good job. And the, the binding, and the binding is for the title to go on so that if it's in the bookshelf, you can see what book it is. And where is our title on the front of the book? Right there, Monsters Mind Your Manners. And it is written by Elizabeth Spur, and it is illustrated by Simon Scales. And if if you write the book, or if you're, what is that called? If you're the writer of the book, if you're the author. That's right. The author is the writer. And if you're the illustrator of the book, what do you do? Draw the pictures. Good job. All right. So let's start. Monsters mind your manners. You ready? Help me out. I'll get nice and close. Look out, children. Here they come, bringing pandemonium. Lock the doors and windows. Run and hide. Do not let those creeps inside. If you do, they'll draw on walls. Leave smears and prints along the halls. Slide across the polished floor. Look at those creeps. Start a baseball game indoors. Those nervy monsters come in flocks to bike and skate on crowded 
walks. They never think to move aside until it's safe for them to ride. Monsters love to shout and fuss when riding on a crowded bus. Rarely will they share a seat. They need a place to put their feet. Ew, don't wanna sit where their feet have been, ew. Monsters always think it's cool to talk and giggle when they're in school. and snap their gum and blow a bubble. They think it's fun to get in trouble. Good job. With mouths wide open, monsters chew. Who wants to see that yuck and goo? Monsters do not know it's rude to start a battle with their food. Ew, ew, did we do that in school? This one plays marbles with his peas. He never says thank you or please. When monsters eat soup, monsters slurp. And when they finish, they loudly burp. Monsters despise tidiness. They've made this room a ghastly mess. They pull the bath towels off the racks. They never think to hang them back. At bedtime, monsters always think they need to pee, they need a drink, they need to put up every kind of fight to stay awake, to keep on the light. Too bad they never go to bed. Because that's where the world's best books are read. And this is definitely one of our favorite books. This is one of the world's best books. So that's it for circle time this morning. I will see you guys tomorrow and you can watch this anytime during the day. If it's not morning time, good afternoon. And if it's evening time, good evening. And uh, I want you guys to all stay healthy and be good. Don't tease your brothers and sisters. Be nice to your parents, clean your room, wash your hands, brush your teeth. I love you.